Hi, it's been a couple of weeks since I've uploaded anything because I've been working on a new online course that I want to tell you about in this video. It's called Get Ready for A-Level Maths. It's been a really tough year for a lot of people in all sorts of ways. And this year in particular, a lot of people have taken GCSE exams on the back of teacher predicted grades without necessarily having done the real exams. Now hopefully you've still covered the course in just the same way you would have done in any other year, but I think there's a bit less confidence and a bit less feeling of having really mastered that GCSE content around if you've missed bits of it at school, uh, if you just haven't quite mastered that hardest bit part of the content and you do want to go on to do A-level maths. Really the step up to A-level maths is going to be the same as it always is, there's a huge, huge step up and it's a very difficult subject at A-level and students, you know, even that get uh, the top grades sometimes struggle with it and those that are trying to uh, start a level maths with gaps in their knowledge often really really find that transition uh, very difficult i've made videos in the past about whether or not you should take a level maths and i'll link that video below as well for a bit more uh, in-depth discussion on, on that sort of stuff but this course is really aimed to help you make that transition i was thinking you'd mostly take it over the summer uh, you could take it at any point though you could even take it further ahead of doing a level maths if you're thinking about doing it in future years it's a great taster course uh, also if you're about to start something like the freestanding maths qualification as long as you've got, kind of got close to the end of your GCSE studies or you've just finished them this is the, a great course for you we're going to recap all the hardest bits of GCSE maths and then go into the A-level course there's a free trial uh, for the first part of the course so you can get going with that straight away and there's a discount on the course at launch as well uh, if you sign up quickly so I've already made an intro video with a lot more detail about it so I'm going to hand over to myself from a few days ago now to tell you a little bit more detail about what's in that course but I really do hope you'll click the link below and go and take a look and try out the free part at least. If you're thinking about the next steps or about to take the A-level course or another follow-on course then this is the course for you. Uh, so perhaps you've already decided to take one of those courses and you want to get ahead, perhaps you're thinking about whether it's right for you and you just want to get a taste uh, for A-level maths um, or perhaps uh, you're coming back to maths after a break and just want to get back into it. Um, whatever your goals I really hope that you'll enjoy taking this course. The step up to maths at A-level from GCSE is really a huge one and a lot of students end up starting A-level maths unprepared. I've worked with so many students who did pretty well at GCSE, maybe they get a grade 6 or a 7 or equivalent, um, they're really enthusiastic about maths or just think it's important to continue, um, but they end up having a really hard time at A-level because they're not thoroughly uh, prepared and sometimes even those students uh, who get top grades at GCSE still uh, sometimes struggle when perhaps they've learnt the content in an exam focused way rather than really for understanding. So A-level takes this enormous leap up and it really builds on the work from GCSE and a lot of students just end up uh, dropping out or not achieving the grades that they hoped for um, uh, but it's still the case that a lot of university courses really do need maths and it's a subject that opens up a lot of doors and I know how keen so many people in this position are to continue with maths. So if any of this sounds like you, um, then this course is going to be perfect for you. Um, you know, I always suggest that students should revise GCSE and do a bit of A-level to get ready over the summer, um, but I've always struggled to actually find something they can really work through, and that's why I wanted uh, to make this course. And also when students ask me, you know, should I take A-level maths, it's so hard to say without just having a bit of a taster of it. So I really hope that this course will help you sample some A-level style content and see if it's something you're ready for and will enjoy doing. Um, I've actually also made a YouTube video a couple of years ago you might have seen about good and bad reasons to do A-level that I'll link below, um, but for the final decision there's uh, nothing better than just trying a bit of it out. So in this course we're going to start with some of the harder topics from GCSE and I've focused on those that I think are most useful for A-level. Uh, we're going to start with problems that could be GCSE questions but very quickly move on to harder examples and to develop them into new topics from the first year of A-level. Uh, the aims really are to feel confident with some of the important parts of GCSE and to build on these and to explore these new ideas. I want you to get used to tackling the sort of challenging problems you'll see at A-level and I've included some really tough and interesting problems towards the end of each worksheet. Uh, some students might actually skip these initially and come back to them later, uh, but it means the course is accessible to anyone who's done reasonably well at GCSE Maths, uh, but the harder questions will mean that it can also stretch and interest uh, those that have achieved uh, the top grades too and push you to that A-level 
uh, style of thinking. I've worked with really high achieving students um, in my uh, teaching career and my instincts are always there to extend and to enrich. So I hope it will uh, be good for a wide range of students um, and I really hope that you'll enjoy those problems. Now I've mentioned the worksheets for this course and you really do learn best by doing. Uh, so this course is structured around 25 mini modules across five different topic areas. Um, each of them has a problem sheet. So there are 25 problem sheets that you're going to be working through uh, with my guidance. It's a really substantial course, this one, and every mini module is designed to take a couple of hours to complete, and there's 25 in total. Uh, so in each one, there will be some introductory teaching videos, uh, but actually most of your time will be spent working through the problems, um, and every single one of those problems has a full video solution um, that I have uh, made to go through that. So I've written all the questions specifically for this course. Uh, some of the harder ones also have some introductory hints to help you if you're stuck. Um, you know, other courses out there, you know, might just have answers to questions to check if you're right, but somehow having the full video solutions means that you should always be able to fully understand the problems even when you haven't been able to do them. And you, perhaps you can even find alternative ways to solve problems that you have been able to do. It means you can also watch them as a bit of a prompt to get started and then have a go yourself, uh, you know, because you really make so much more progress in maths, uh, the more of it you can do yourself. So I've designed everything here uh, to be as close as possible to the experience of doing this with me in private tuition and uh, so that you can spend as much time as possible actually doing the maths. I've designed the course thinking that a typical student will take it over five weeks studying for two hours a day Monday to Friday or any five days of the week that you like. Uh, so the idea is to do the first topic from strand A on Monday of week one and then the first one from strand B on Tuesday of week one and from strand C on Wednesday of week one etc. Uh, and the five strands by the way are the first one is indices, surds and logarithms. Indices and surds you'll have come across at GCSE will do some really hard problems to do with those and logarithms is something new that uh, people do struggle a bit with, but it's a really important topic. Um, strand B, we'll start with the quadratics uh, that you know from GCSE, extend the ideas there a bit, uh, and then go into polynomials and the relationship between the roots and factors of polynomials and their graphs uh, in general. In strand C, we've got coordinate geometry, uh, again, some of that you've done at GCSE, and we'll move that into differentiation that you might have touched on at IGCSE, um, and uh, we will really work into some A-level style questions uh, for uh, differentiation. Super important topic that you'll just build on as you continue to study maths. And then strand D is trigonometry and trigonometric equations. So we'll start with things like the sine and the cosine rule and solving simple trigonometric equations. And we'll go into the much harder uh, A-level ones. This is a topic that really, really benefits from having seen early on and revisiting it a couple of times. It can be a very hard one to get used to. Um, and then strand E is going to be about sequences and series. We'll look at all different types of sequences and series, um, in particular the ones that you need most for A-level, but really a variety uh, of different things in there. So some of these topics sit at the overlap between GCSC and A-level, and some are entirely in A-level. Um, many of these, you know, you're really expected to know before you start and know really well, and you don't usually get a lot of uh, time for some of these uh, at the start of A-level because it's assumed you're meant to really know them inside out from GCSE. But the thing these topics really have in common is that they're ones that those students who do go on to get top grades at A-level have really usually mastered uh, before they've even started the course. The bits from GCSE, I mean, of course, the parts from A-level um, are going to be new, uh, but it's all of these topics that uh, you should really know inside out and you don't spend a lot of time on usually at the start of an A-level course. There are other topics in there like logarithms uh, that kind of need a bit of time to settle in. So it's really useful to see them once and then see them again uh, a bit later on. Uh, and you'll be in a great position uh, to start the course if you can get ahead with these. Actually, in general, you do really learn a lot better by giving ideas time to settle in. It's just how the brain works. That's why I recommend starting early and also studying this course one week at a time over five weeks, rather than doing each strand from start to finish. So doing, you know, topic A, uh, B, C, D and E, one worksheet from each of those topics each week rather than just working through all of the topic A worksheets uh, at once. Your brain needs time to absorb ideas, so coming back to them uh, again and again really is the best way to structure a course. 
Some of the topics also overlap a bit, so you might end up using some of the ideas from earlier worksheets uh, across uh, different strands. Um, of course, you can also take the course more intensively um, or more slowly, um, so you could study it full time and perhaps finish the whole thing in two weeks if you're working um, you know, full time, you know, five days a week on it. Um, so you could do it just for a couple of weeks at the end of the summer holidays or at another time. Um, and you can, of course, go in whatever order you prefer. This is just my recommendation. But I do really think it's a good idea to follow the course, um, at least roughly in the order that I have set it out here for uh, to make sure that you get the best results from it. Just before we start, let me tell you a little bit more about myself. I achieved top grades at A-level maths and further maths as a student, and I went on to study maths at Magdalen College, Oxford getting a first class undergraduate and master's degree there. Since then, I've got two more master's degrees in applied statistics and statistical applied maths, and a degree in law, actually. Uh, I've also taught for a total of seven years. Three of those are one of the country's most academic private schools, uh, Westminster School, and I've tutored students from primary up to degree level for more than a decade. I run the Mathsaurus YouTube channel. Do go over and subscribe if you uh, haven't seen that one already. And um, that's got tens of thousands of subscribers and has got uh, millions of video views. So I really hope you enjoy this course and that it helps you prepare for A-level maths. It's the biggest course that I've ever made and I've really enjoyed coming up with the questions and making these videos. I always love hearing from people taking the courses, by the way, too. Uh, so do send me an email if you have any comments or ideas, or if you're still thinking about whether to take the course or have any questions. If you send an email to me, it comes directly to me and I will respond to uh, everyone who writes to me. Um, so the first section of this course is totally free to work through as well, so you can get a sense of what it's like before you commit to the full course. Uh, and then you can hopefully decide to go on and take the rest of the modules afterwards. Anyway, that's enough from me for now. So uh, let's start getting ready for A-level maths. <laughs> 